You get bald ones for make a prawn cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and you get ones wearing nice crispy jackets so you can shove them in the air frying. Loves and welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And this is part of our Veganuary shopping series. So we've only done um, two main shopping vlogs thus far for Veganuary. We've done an Aldi one because Aldi's, some at least of Aldi's Veganuary products will disappear once they're sold out. Sadly. Uh, and the exact same with Lidl, the other shopping vlog we've done. Today is more of a mainstay one. So this is one of the biggest supermarkets. We're at Tesco, by the way. Uh, last year or the year before, we did a little series. Um, is, in certain name of supermarket, the best supermarket for vegans in the UK? And we did... Tesco, Aldi, Morrison's, Asda, Sainsbury's, m and &S. I think we included m and in I the mix. I think we did. And Tesco was the clear winner. Yeah. Um, Even we were surprised. We were. Time. Tesco does have a great range of vegan products. And, luckily, most of the things that we show you today will be mainstay items that will be in all year round. Yes. Um, not sure what they're going to do with the uh, vegan steak. Uh, the juicy marbles. They've got that in at the moment on offer. Good point. I yeah. don't know whether that will become a mainstay item or whether it's something they've just got in for Veganuary. Um, for those of you who do not like our car chats, the time will have already come up along the bottom here telling you if you want to go straight to the shopping, go here. We know some of you, you just want to get straight to the action. You want to get to the goods. You know what I mean? And we're not offended by that. That's not fine. So the difference between these and our normal shopping vlogs is that uh, in these ones, we try to show people that are new to veganism or considering making the switch that you can come here and do a full shop and get pretty much everything you need yeah um so let's go into tesco uh if anyone uh wonders where this one is we're in oldham we're on Udders huddersfield road and this is the big huddersfield on the other side then like a right northern huddersfield huddersfield road um so it's the big one on Huddersfield Road, it's um, definitely the best one in our locale. Yeah. It's huge and there's plenty of stuff. So let's get showing it you in there. So just in case you didn't know, a lot of Tesco's now have a Greg's inside them. This particular one does. And Greg's have always got the vegan sausage roll and they've just brought back the vegan steak bake. Um, don't know whether that's just for January, but uh, we'll try and show you a couple of bits here as well. They're doing all day breakfast. Meal deal's 3.40 by the way. All day breakfast is quite lovely. Had that many times. And they do a plant chef uh, hoisting. And lots of snacks and drinks. So there are choices. Neither of us have seen this before. Uh, pollen and Grace Mexican chipotle and sweet potato bowl. Clearly marked vegan and gluten free. Gluten free. I always say glutton. Such a bloody northerner. Gluten. Gluten, gluten darling. Gluten. <laughs> uh, so that's part of the five pound meal deal. Premium main snack and drink for fancy folk. Some nice, nice offers on the big brand milks at the moment. Uh, they've got Oatly for one fifty. Alpro soya and almond for one thirty five. Alpro oat for one thirty five. And the options vegan hot chocolate for two twenty five, normally four pound fifty, but these are club car prices, and it only takes two minutes to get one. It's well worth it, should you fancy. Onward. You don't need us to show you show you the fruit and veg sections, but Tesco, as particularly this one, has a really really good one, and of course they've all jumped on the uh, Aldi Super Six with uh, Tesco Fresh 5 so there are always offers um, 
but uh, you know if you don't like getting your veg from a supermarket then maybe it's a little green grocer nearby you or whatever however they do have a whole plethora of things a huge amount so yeah you don't need us to show you what a carrot looks like do you that's one there orange and long another addendum to our tesco here on uh, ribbon and road is we've got a sushi section and uh, your sushi there's all these plant-based bowls and plant-based selections so see it does say it it's just very dark in here plant-based should you fancy something uh, sushi like so it's part of the meal deal um, in the small print here so it's £14.50 by two mains and two sides club card price £14.50 ah lovely onward some of this uh, I mentioned these recently but when we uh, we do a meals vlog every Tuesday outlining our previous seven nights meals and I do a noodle soup recipe but I did mention that you could get the eat soup broth if you didn't want to make your own and those two are clearly marked vegan miso ramen and classic ramen I'm not sure about the uh, noodles let's have a look yeah whether any of them are marked vegan um Compared to a vegan recipe, it says there. Right. So it'd be kind of a... A, 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 a cross-contamination thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you can get a stir-fry uh, meal deal. So, should you fancy. Always nice to see a nice big uh, section like that. And rather than me reading out the prices for you, I'll just show you that they do indeed have a whole plethora of uh, alternative milks, spray cream, which is what that is right there. Loads and loads and loads and loads of vegan milks. And on they go. Many of them on club card offers. And of course, they do their own ones as well. Soya drinks and almond drinks and coconut. So yeah, and this is just in the chilled section. They've also got a huge amount of milks on the long life section. And then you start with things like this. So you've got Plant Chef uh, Garlic and Herb Soft Cheese. It's actually lovely. It's £1.95. Via Life Creamy Cheese, we had recently. Um, you may have seen. one seventy-five. They've got the plant-based Philadelphia for two quid. Plant-based Cathedral City Spread, Spring Onion and Crap Black Pepper for two quid. We did a taste test on all these, didn't we? Not too long back. I'll link it up there. No, up there now. So you can have a look, should you fancy. Uh, Via Life Cheddarton and Via Life Epic are uh, 175 and 275. Via Life Greek style is £3. Applewood Vegan Block, 230. Uh, we've got the Cathedral City for three pound. Cathedral City slices and grated via life slices. Tesco's own uh, mozzarella two pound twenty, and then single cream alternative vanilla custard, creamy oat, uh, little chalk pots, and beautiful desserts. So a really good alternative um, dairy section. Now, we what we do recommend, it's very important to note, if you're trying vegan for the first time, ignore all of this for at least two weeks. I personally would say four weeks. And then try a couple of vegan alternatives to cheese. Cheese is one of the most addictive uh, dairy products and very very bad for you uh, but your taste buds are so tuned into it so leave it a couple of weeks then try something like that and it'll make your cheeks go funny like it did me <laughs> also on the same aisle but at the end there's uh, a whole and this isn't marked as such but this is all um, vegan stuff so you've got the little fromage fraise and uh, the coconut collab, beautiful. 
Alpro Gut Health Yogurts, Actimel, vegan uh, little yogurt drink for gut health. They've got the plant-based Mullers right there. The chocolate one and the strawberry and pomegranate, which is gorgeous. They are gorgeous. They're all the 95p at the moment. They've got the Alpro protein pots. Uh, strawberry and raspberry, £1.20. We've got these massive dairy-free, uh, the... Is it the Coconut Collective? Um, uh, yeah, Coconut Collective. The Collective. Yeah, the Collective, dairy free. Two Vanilla, pounds twenty. Mango, fabulous. And then they've just got a lot of plain ones down here, which of course you can just use for, you know, yogurt mint sauce, or you can mix plain vegan yogurt and flour and make nan breads. Oh, there's a whole world to discover. Um, and Tesco even do their own their own plain yoghurt and their own Greek style yoghurt so a whole plethora of dairy alternatives no cows were harmed in the making of these shelves I mean you probably already know this but if you didn't uh, the entire flora range is now um, vegan Was it clearly marked? I think the labels, they've removed that. Oh yeah, it's there. It's yeah. there on the side. So even the buttery, we've got that one in at the moment. We normally have, I can't believe it's not butter, which is also vegan. Um, so yeah. And of course, Can there's, I just point out, uh, before you go over there, is for those that are on a budget, 95p down there clearly marked vegan as well. That's great. Stop, well, soft spread. That might be good for cooking. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a load over here as well. Vitalite and Pure are, of course, all vegan. Marvellous. Right, onward. Walk off dramatically, Jason. <laughs> and if you want a butter alternative, you can go for the Flora Plant Butter. Regular price, £2.125 at the moment. Uh, there's an unsalted and a salted, uh, but there's also a butter called Naturally. Naturally, and it's beautiful. We'll insert a picture here. How rude to put that picture over that. We don't care. Um, and just in case you didn't know, uh, just roll. If you want to do something with puff pastry, clearly marked suitable for vegans so is their short crust pastry so yeah you can still bake Barbara so we've seen talk about this on the interwebs from Matt Levine talk, <laughs> talking about their plant based ham uh, so they've got a, a standard one and they've got a smoked one and at the moment it's only two three seventy five. but here's the thing there's that many things um, now I'm going to tell you this, a lot of people talk about this, classic burger, uh, meatless maverick, yes, the patty is um, uh, vegan, but it comes with a cheese slice, so in my opinion, if you're buying it, you're still supporting the dairy industry, so I don't, uh, I'm, I'm completely not interested in that one. Uh, and I believe it's the same with that one. There's either some kind of sauce. Oh no, it's got vegan mayo. So that is plant-based with vegan mayo sachet. Um, so that one is not supporting the dairy industry, which is great. Uh, and then they've got a whole range of, don't forget, not all the corn meats are vegan. When they are vegan, they say so. Uh, right on the front. They're either called vegan like that one says vegan pepperoni or they've got the vegan symbol uh, they, like here you know but not everything they do is but what they do is really good um, we can vouch for the roast beef slices the gorgeous the Yorkshire ham slices gorgeous finely sliced ham the vegan chicken free slices however the Richmond roast chicken style slices are the best chicken style slices, aren't they, Jay? I believe so. 
whole load of squeaky bean never had a uh, squeaky bean product I didn't like they're all around the kind of two pound odd or three pound mark uh, and then down here we've got a load of tempeh and um, toffee and if you didn't see uh, recently we re-edited a live that we did a few years ago which is pretty much tofu masterclass and I'm going to link that up there now because the stuff is amazing you might not think it yet but you will <laughs> we've got a load of bowl meals and ginsters plant based pasties uh, the creamy garlic mushroom is stunning not for Jason he's not a mushroom man the Moroccan vegetable is great the best one that we feel is the um, potato and spinach yeah, yeah. but that's not here Pork Farms Vegan Porkless Pies Tesco used to do their own I think they've kind of passed the gauntlet on to them now uh, and then a lot of Higgity products again I don't think everything Higgity do is ve vegan it isn't no not. some of the stuff they do is with cheese isn't it this is new and there isn't a price at the moment so I'll have to have a look online and see if I can find it but the Tofu Company marinated smoky barbecue strips oh I didn't know um, Plant Chef were doing their own steak free slices new yeah it says on it and uh, meat free sausage rolls they've always done them and they even do a coleslaw look at it all on its own but I recommend making your own it takes five minutes and it's so worth it oh these are the pies folk were on about Jay the new brand new vegan no steak pie from Pucker how much are they? Uh, one fiddy club card oh that's reasonable let's get a couple yeah and I'll whack them in the freezer oh yeah oh oh and here there's a lot more uh, ball stuff there's a uh, fantastic hoisin um, hoisin duck meal kit comes with pancakes and the duck from the McCarthy you've just got to uh, provide your own vegetables these uh, meatless farm filled pastas the no duja ravioli the beef red wine and porcini mushroom girasole and the chicken and bacon style tortellini tortelloni they're all 275 club card price at the moment and they're gorgeous we've had them all wicked do their own as well they do an aubergine parmigiana ravioli and a spinach and wild garlic ravioli they're three pound you can get some fabulous wicked um, ready meals nana's mushroom balanese gunpowder chickpea gel frazy blazing biryani meat free hoisin and rice I think I've done all three of these on lunchtime taste tests I think tests, you have and I can vouch for them they're great but also Tesco and a lot of the other supermarkets are leaning into their own products now so there's a whole range yeah there's a there's a great range down here uh, meat free spaghetti bolognese uh, mushroom fettuccine pasta sweet and sour no chicken and rice uh, bean chili and Mexican style rice vegetable tikka masala and rice and finally uh, sweet potato katsu style curry and rice and they are any three for seven pound fifty so two fifty each that's amazing no it really is though isn't it for people that just want to you're going to get one for next week or? Yeah, I'm trying to decide which one. But I don't think, I was also checking to see if they're freezable because it says keep refrigerated. Uh. So if you was buying three for 7 50 you'd need to eat them fairly quickly, I imagine, 13th of Jan. But yeah, I don't know which one to get. And they've got a load of uh, pizzas down here as well. £3.15 for the Plant Chef Margarita and the Plant Chef Mushroom Pizza. And a fiver for the Wicked Spicy Pepperoni and the Barbecue Chilling and Sweet Corn. Oof, that's a lot of stuff. And we're, we're not even halfway through yet. You will also find, and we won't take you through it all because it'll take us ages, but you'll also find that, for example, Holy Moly Guacamole original is clearly marked vegan and £2.20. And there are so many hummuses, um, pretty much all of the standard ones, 
like sweet chilli hummus for example are clearly marked suitable for vegans uh, on the back and they're like two for two pound thirty and Jess has just uh, spotted these a garlic and dill sauerkraut clearly marked vegan and kimchi uh, and how much are there, Jay? They are club card 350 or 450 without a club card. Marvellous. Onward! It's good to see Tesco have got these little uh, side um, arms as well. Although that bothers me if it's like it says plant based and vegetarian. Oh, I suppose it is. Because there's dairy yeah. down there, so it's vegetarian, isn't it? Uh, but they've got all this vegan stuff as well. I don't know if you know. But um, you can get shrimps now. You get bald ones for make a prawn cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and you get ones wearing nice crispy jackets. So you can shove them in an air fryer. One of the best tofus on the market. It just is. Always has been. Uh, Vivira plant-based chicken breasts and falafels and veggie balls and all kinds of bits and Luke the very pasty we were just talking about the Bombay potato and spinach it's gorgeous like proper gorgeous as is the pucker vegan chicken and mushroom pie and the minced steak and onion we've tried them we just haven't tried the new chunky no steak ones Jason's future meal um, lunchtime, lunchtime taste, taste test. test we've got both hams and onions, he had to go through a lot of onions at home. And the pies. Um, and uh, and onward. Now this particular section is actually at the end of the meat aisle. I used to be really bothered by this. But I'm not anymore because I think it plants a seed in people's brains. They've got to walk past it and actively go towards the torture and death. So, yeah. balls in your court, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> So they've got the shrimps here again, uh, the um, the bald ones and the ones wearing a nice jacket, £2.60. Uh, we've just picked up a box of this because we've heard a lot of people raving about it. Future Tuna, it's £1.50 at the moment, club card price. So yeah, we're going to give that a bash, clearly marked vegan. Uh, they've still got the chickenless roasting from the meatless farm. So I'm thinking that might be a core item now. Um, and I'm thinking this might be as well. That this isn't roasting chicken and stuffing. Uh, I know a lot of people had think these things at Christmas. That's five ninety five. dollars um, Tesco do their own. Two roasted vegetable parcels. I thought that was a roast then. Two roasted vegetable parcels, $3.50. Uh, we've got Wicked... Italian inspired meatballs We've got fish free goujons on the top there Oh The Vivira salmon fillets we've had them and they're absolutely gorgeous uh, We had them with a dill butter sauce I believe and new potatoes and peas and it was a, it was a gorgeous meal um, Meat free mints from plant chef that's two pound Loads of different kinds of minces, uh, including Richmond, two pound, Vivira, two sixty. Plant spinach fillet. Mm. Oh, what is it? Um, with vegan cheese alternative. I suppose it's exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. Um, the peppered steaks from Quorn aren't vegan, however. Jason and I had one of these the other night on um, one of our lives uh, where we do a mukbang on a Saturday. Absolutely gorgeous and at the moment £6.75 uh, but it looks like that's going to become a core item which is really good because it was only Waitrose I believe. So what's the date on it? 21st of the first 24. Uh. We'll, we'll get back in before January and get another one of them. We've already had one, so... Uh, but you can get a plant steak from Vivira as well for £3. They're lovely. The Vivira chicken breast. This isn't chicken breast. Three fifty. Impeccable chicken breasts. £3. Loads of burgers. 
these are stunning they, I mean they just are so they're 2 50 at the moment normally £4.30 there are just so many things I mean that's just one section and then you get onto the sausages loads of different uh, sausages in the chilled section Tesco do their own Cumberland style and caramelised onion ones and red pepper and bean sausages this isn't caramelised onion sausages this isn't pork sausages which are incredibly porky Richmond sage and onion and uh, just standard sausages Tesco plant chef bacon Richmond bacon La Vie bacon which in our opinion is the best and that's only £2 at the moment uh, which is why we had um, why we had uh, uh, Brinner last week I don't want it again so soon but they also do Lardons which is what I mixed with my sprouts and chestnuts at Christmas yeah I mean there's 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 all sorts Luke it's full I think you glanced over these, but I'm, I'm looking at stuff where it says new. Okay. Uh, two masala cauliflower burgers. Oh, that does sound nice. Uh, one ninety-five then, and that's new. So it's nice to see that there is some new stuff. In of course well. it is. Of course it is. Yeah. Hundred percent plant-based as well. This new planted uh, chicken, duck, or kebab. Fabulous. What a time, eh? What a time. What a time to go vegan. Oh, word. And on the long life milk and egg aisle, um, plant baked milks start here and they continue and continue and continue and continue until you get to Jason. That whole range of plant based milks fabulous to see and on this aisle of what as well of course they've got uh, nut butters uh, meridian and whole earth are largely if not fully vegan they always say when they are some fabulous stuff and have they got some sweeter alternatives there Jason I'm like just looking. I'm just looking to see uh, they've got maple syrup there Amber maple syrup. Yeah, they've got some maple syrups and stuff. But you can also get a Garvey nectar as a, a sweetener. But yeah, whole load of peanut butters and a whole load of plant milks. In a little stand at the end of an aisle, they do have the, the new Walker's uh, vegan flame grilled steak and barbecue pork rib flavour crisps, both clearly marked vegan. And they're one, they've got a lot in as well. Look. Uh, we've got one of each because it'd be rude not to oh, and like they are £1.65 uh, club card price and the normal it'd be one ninety five. even that's not bad is it oh look vegan pancake shaker mix bound vegan bound vegan <laughs> yeah good to see are we on the free from aisle now Yes. Oh marvellous, there's a plethora of stuff on here. So on the free from aisle, which I'm sure our gluten free friends are very used to, there is actually quite a lot that's vegan. Um, for example, this Kickerman gluten free soy sauce is clearly marked vegan and it's £3. However, if you live near a wing yip, you can get a huge bottle of mushroom flavoured soy sauce for like two pound odd and it's gorgeous um, we've got gravies that's a suitable for vegetarians that one however these ones next door vegetable chicken and beef all uh, Tesco's own all clearly say suitable for vegans and they're one pound fifty these are both suitable for vegans karma cooking sauce free from and hunters cooking sauce hunters has it emblazoned that one just says it in text. Where is it? Oh, it's there. It's useful for vegans. In text. They're £1.20. Uh, is that salad cream vegan, Jason? No, I'm not sure. Let's 
suitable for vegans, yes. Yep. Salad cream, 165. Uh, these noodle pots, um, that one will have chicken in it, I should imagine. Gluten free, wheat free, milk free. Yeah, dried chicken. Whereas this one, the curry noodle pot, is clearly marked vegan, £1.35. I have one. Yeah, Jess picked one up for a lunchtime taste test. It's right there, look. Um, there's a load of uh, pestos and uh, vegan cheese sauce from Sackler. Yeah, there's all sorts. It, it just goes on and on and on. There's crisps. There's chocolate. I'm not going to like show you everything individually because it takes the fun out of shopping for you. Just know that when you come to the free from aisle and you're on a vegan journey, you can have a right good look up at everything and you'll find absolutely loads that's clearly marked vegan. Uh, and like, are they gluten free as well? Yeah. Gluten free, custard creams. So there's biscuits that are marked vegan. Uh, bourbons and custard creams, but they also have some standard biscuits, don't they, with gluten? Mm -hmm. and we'll show yeah. fork. Check your labels in the free from aisle, like we always say. Uh, check your, your ingredients, sorry. Our pro desserts, all kinds of bits. Right, I'm bored of this aisle now. Onward. Well, we've already shown you margarine and spreads, so um, just so you know, Neville's uh, basic white medium sliced bread. It's 45p Aldi price match and clearly marked vegan. Tesco's own toasty loaf, 75p, clearly marked. Uh, also, they do a wholemeal Neville's loaf for 45p. Always check your labels on your breads, but you will find that many basic sliced breads are clearly marked vegan, as are a lot of muffins and burger buns and wraps and all that kind of thing. Uh, just check your labels and you should find something quite easy. Worth mentioning because they are one of our favourites. Uh, Sheldon's oven bottom muffins are not marked vegan. They're marked suitable for vegetarians as are the big brown ones and such. But by ingredients they are vegan. Most bagels are clearly marked vegan. Particularly from the New York Bakery Corps. And then, of course, if you fancy croissants, you've got Saint Pierre croissants and pan au chocolate, usually. Um, but they only seem to have the croissants in at the moment. However, we can vouch for them, they're quite lovely. Mm hmm. 165. Onward. We, I, think these are a bit expensive. Uh, the Wicked Four Lemon Cupcakes or Four Chocolate cup Cupcakes. They're £4.20. It's like £1.5 each, uh, but the Oggs are quite expensive too, um, which are next door to them. Once again, always check your labels. When they're plant-based and vegan, they do say so. You can even get a fancy celebration cake, should you fancy. Wicked do a Belgian chocolate and raspberry cake for £9. And Bosch do a luscious lemon cake for £3.70. They usually also, uh, Lush also, Bosch also do a um, coffee and walnut, but they don't call it that. Nutty Americano. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Here as well. And of course, the Just Love Cake for £8, um, which is an indulgent chocolate cake. So there are options. Again, we're not going to show you a huge amount in this section, but when a wine here is vegan, um, Let's just pick one of our random ones, Jason. Yeah. It clearly says, usually in text, suitable for vegans, like that. So, we'll be grabbing one of them. Show you our trolley when we're done, but we're not here to show you what we're buying. We're here to show you what you can buy. So, yeah, always check your labels, but there is a huge selection of red, white wine, spirits and beers, clearly marked vegan. Much like that man right there, he's clearly marked vegan. <laughs> and should you prefer a softer drink, uh, there are of course a lot of stuff available from the fabulous Robinsons. And these three, for example, are all vegan approved. And they're three for three pound at the moment, fruit and barley orange, apple and pear and pink grapefruit. 
but you'll find again check your labels and you'll find that many of these drinks are vegan oh yeah the swizzles cordials are vegan aren't they yeah uh, and they're a pound uh, they've got drumstick flavor and bubblegum flavor and love hearts and lemon squash oh lemon squash oh lemon squash is it a cordial or yeah yeah yeah, suitable for vegetarians, suitable for vegans. Yes, please, we'll have that. It's pound, thanks. Okay. <laughs> right, onward. Pepsi Max is vegan. Just for the record. Now, we're a bit miffed about these here. Check them ones as well, Jay. Um, <clears throat> because when Tesco Finest brought out their Christmas range of Christmas flavoured crisps, they all had real meat and milk in them. However, all of these are vegan. Prawn, Mary Rose flavour, mature cheddar and red onion flavour, beef and horseradish flavour, all marked suitable for vegans and 135 a pack. And again, it's the same with most crisps. If you check them, you'll find a lot of own brand ones are clearly marked vegan like yeah look onion rings vegan bacon rashers vegan again we won't show you everything but there is a plethora of stuff to choose from none of which has impacted animals and that's what this is all about now cereals are unfortunately a minefield uh, for example, when I first went vegan, I still carried on eating this. And then somebody told me it wasn't uh, vegan because of the vitamin D in it, which was derived from sheep's wool, lanolin. It's like the greasy stuff on a sheep's skin just under there. there. And it's exactly the same with Tesco's own um, low-fat red berry special flakes. They're only marked suitable for vegetarians, and it's because of the vitamin D in them when a cereal is vegan it should be clearly marked vegan for example tesco's fruit and fiber could have picked a better box yeah i know they're all a bit, <laughs> they're all a bit, a bit squashed mashed. how much is it no price unfortunately no price let's 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 guess it's three pound and if it's not it's come up in text now uh but if you check your cereal you'll actually find nowadays that some of the big names are also clearly marked vegan um so we'll have a look also, some granolas are clearly marked vegan. For example, this one, Superberry Fuel Granola. Uh, but again, you've got to be careful. So the things to watch out for with cereals are honey and vitamin D. Uh, but let's see if we can show you a couple of things. Example, Kellogg's Raisin Wheats and Blueberry Wheats, 195, and both clearly marked vegan. I mean, you look at the difference here, so Nestle, we're not mad on them as a company. Shreddies, clearly marked vegan on the front of the box. Four pound. Tesco's malt wheaties, <laughs> clearly marked vegan on the back of the box. 95p. Which one are you going to get, Barbara? And, of course, your classic Weetabix are clearly marked vegan. Uh, you can get um, some cereals in the free-from aisle as well that, that will be marked vegan. Uh, and you can also get from Morrison's uh, Whole Earth Corn Flakes, and they're stunning. But we're not at Morrison's, we're at Tesco. They're both marked, are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Flavum's High Fibre Whole Grain Porridge. One with raspberry and one with three seed and oat bran. £3.30, clearly marked vegan. Right, we've shown you enough now. Look yourself. <laughs> See, some biscuits like these ones Jason's holding now confuse you because it says prepared to a vegan recipe, but it doesn't say vegan. Mm -hmm. However, Tesco's own 65p bourbon creams are clearly marked vegan. Right, now let's show you some dried goods. If you fancy something quick, uh, we could do this whole selection of little pot meals. Thai inspired green curry and rice, a jackfruit dal and rice, Tuscan style white bean stew, sweet potato with three bean chili, 
and then they do these pot oh they're all 265 and then they do like pot noodles late night noodles oh they're 155 spicy coconut and rice noodles spicy smoky dreamy mac all really really good these ones are new jay i've not seen these before yeah fantastic fantastic aren't they the ones that the company that do the brownies that you got a few weeks back they are indeed 100% plant based so tasty you'd never guess £1.15 classic curry and rice uh, bolognese pasta and satay noodles oh I'm kind of tempted but I'm going to do the free from one first yeah yeah lovely so yeah they've got them should you fancy if you like a tin of soup we can vouch for all of these actually the Tesco plant chef's soups are gorgeous uh, rich tomato and basil, 85p. Sweet potato and coconut. And smoky, smoky lentil. lentil and red pepper. I think this is my favourite in memory soups. I love this one. We're different boys, really. Gravies. Vegan do, uh, Bisto do, a meat free beef and a meat free chicken. Both clearly marked vegan and £4. But the king of all gravies, and always will be, is the Bisto Best Onion Gravy. There is no argument. Fight me, I'll meet you outside. It's the winner. Don't starve. Thanks. All kinds of bits in here. Not seen these ones before, but uh, Hairy Biker. Spicy and herby little stock pots. £1.90 and both clearly marked vegan. And lots of dressings as well. Look, um, Pizza Express. Vegan house light dressing, £2.50. Of course, clearly marked. Hellman's do a fat free vinaigrette, clearly marked vegan. One thinner. Uh, but the, you'll find loads of dressings are clearly marked vegan. You just gotta look. That's not vegetarian. Right, oh yeah, and then there's a whole range of rices and pastas. We usually get our rice uh, and our dried products from either Sainsbury's or Amazon. Um, but you know, they've got plenty of lentils and different kinds of rices. We like a brown rice ourselves. And most, uh, oh yeah, like that, easy cook brown rice. And a lot of these ready-made ones as well from Tilda, uh, or Ben's Originals, uh, are clearly marked vegan pick one up at random mild turn it over and there it is and yeah they're a pound we've had most of them haven't we yeah, the lime right. and coriander Indonesian peri peri lovely rices lemon and herbs nom nom uh, so there's plenty to choose from that's new. Yeah, sticky rice. Yeah. Yeah. Same as. Right. And it'll be the same with the Ben's ones. When they are vegan, they clearly say it. Right, now we'll get to the freezers. Before we get there, though, don't forget your vegan mayos. Whole range of uh, Hellman's. Uh, and I think, um, for those of you that don't know, HP sauce is vegan. <laughs> it's very important to know that when you're a northerner. And... Henderson's Relish, strong and northern, made in Sheffield. Like I said to you on a previous vlog, it looks very much like the Liam Perrins. Liam Perrins, of course, isn't vegan, it contains anchovies, but Henderson's uh, is, is vegan and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we need one of these, Brummers. Do we? Yeah. Um, is Tesco's own ketchup clearly marked vegan? You know what, that's a good question, and I think the answer is no. Suitable for vegetarians. How random that they... Why? Why? So... We will get the one that is clearly marked. We will. Hellman's, £2.15. £1.5p more than theirs. Still, you win. Top tip. If you are going to buy dried ingredients like chickpeas or... Uh, lentils or anything and you have um, a world foods aisle as it were 
always check that one because they're usually cheaper on there than they are in the rest of the store uh, and bigger bigger amounts and you can also get your kind of like you know turmeric and ground cumin and keep your bag in just keep filling up your little bottle keep your bag sealed in the in the fridge save yourself some money right freezers again a huge section in the uh, freezers here but I mean this is a very big Tesco um, and they've got this kind of three for two offer on at the moment with all kinds of stuff got um, fish free goujons and fish free cakes with melt in the middle no meat pies they're lovely actually oh yeah no steak pies yeah I haven't seen them ones before yes. and it doesn't say new so yeah um, katsu style veggie crisp bakes and chicken style nuggets hot and spicy chicken strips southern fried fillets uh, nuggets yep yeah, more nuggets spicy bean burgers mini sausage rolls Kiev's and they're all really it, it, pretty, pretty much everything seems to be at any three for two at the moment with the plant chef stuff I've got literally no room in my freezer meat free mince no chicken breasts just absolutely all sorts Chips. beyond chicken style plant based breaded patties oh nice four, four quid nice but I got a bag of eight for two pound fifty from Iceland uh, this is an oh they've got their this isn't chicken style pieces and this isn't chicken tenders and the pork sausage is all in the freezer they've got the is that vegan no they've got beyond burger we, we haven't tried a beyond meat thing yet that we haven't liked also i can vouch for the ready meals the beyond meals are brilliant yeah they're brilliant lord of pizzas oh haven't you had that as well jason that rainbow lasagna yeah it's gorgeous uh, restaurant, Dr. Urka restaurant pizzas. My favourite one is that one, the Margarita Pomodori. Beautiful. Um, Chicago Town, Saucy Vegan. ZZ's Vegan Lentil Ragu, £3. Deep Dish Pizzas, Rustica Pizzas from ZZ. A lot of corn stuff. Watch your corn stuff. Uh, if it, it, it always says vegan. If it is, always. Linda McCartney stuff. One of the originators of the vegan movement with her vegetarian foods. We've been having Linda McCartney's original deep country pies for 30 years. Hmm. Fries do a whole range of fabulous products. Why is there no BFC in here? That's a very, very good point. There isn't. Tesco, what's going on? Why is there no VFC in here? That's a bit rude. Uh, and the green cuisine range from Bird's Eye is all vegan, apart from the veggie quarter pounders, randomly. Stupidly. Free from strawberry and vanilla corns and uh, vanilla and salted caramel ice desserts. I believe that's also clearly marked vegan. I, we've never had it, but we've seen it. Yeah, it is. Three Cle quid as well, that's decent. Clearly marked vegan. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it goes on and on and on. There is so much, it's pretty much all of that. So if you want to fill your freezer, you can. Uh, we'll have a look for a couple more dessert items and then we shall be off home with this little lot. Should you fancy whacking your own uh, croissants in the freezer, you can get Pret ones here. Six vegan croissants, £3.30, clearly marked vegan, in the freezer. We don't want them, so they're going back. So yeah, they do have some separate um, 
stuff. Ben and Jerry's do a whole range of uh, vegan ice creams, also clearly marked when it is. Um, Magnum do a whole range of vegan lollies. Wicked do a whole range of vegan ice creams, but one of the best on the market and one of the longest on the market has got to be Swedish Glacé. If you're lucky, you can get vanilla, strawberry and chocolate, £2.75, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And that is what you're looking for. And we will see you back in the car once we've sorted out this little lot. So, my loves, that little lot was £42.58 pence. But tenner of that will wine, yeah. don't forget. So, you know. Uh, and we've got quite a few bits there, but it wasn't about our shop, it was about showing you what's available in Tesco. And I think we've proved once again that Tesco is excellent for vegans. It really is. I was kind of joking in there and saying, you know, kind of like, what a time to be alive in terms of being vegan. But in 2024, you know, and I don't think it's going to get any worse. It can only get better. It's the best time ever uh, mm. to be to be vegan. We're We're in our 10th year now. Of being vegan it will actually be a full 10 years in april this year because we went vegan in april 2014 and it, honestly people say all the time or oh, 20 years ago 30 years ago it was different 10 years ago it was different yeah 10 years ago it was much more difficult it has never been as easy it's never been as affordable uh and i think we've just shown you you can do it, it we we avoid the fruit and veg sections because you don't need me to show you what broccoli looks like yeah. um, and hopefully vegetables will become a main part of your diet like they are with us we have what were it, we had the other night with um, just with broccoli and it was absolutely gorgeous both of us were like oh that was stunning what was it? Oh. we've got terrible memories me and you busy lives anyway we do a lot um, yeah, it's been great. We hope this has been Gardner's helpful. Pie. Thank you, Gardner's Pie. Thank you, because it was bugging me. Um, we hope this has been helpful for you. Um, we know a lot of you, it is helpful for you, because you tell us it is, and that's great. And Thank you for um, leaving comments down below. It's always nice to hear from you. But, uh, yeah, it, I'll say it again. What a time to be alive, yeah. seriously. Uh, and we know that this is um, exclusively the UK, We've mentioned it before. We know some of our wonderful subscribers in other parts of the world do Struggle. not have it as good. Don't have this kind of charge, yeah. But, yeah. And when it comes to cleaning products, by the way, your best places, honestly, are places like B&M Bargains and Home Bargains and the Astonish brand or Fabuloso. Yes. Uh, they're all cruelty-free and clearly marked vegan. We uh, have been... We get our um, washing tablets, uh, as in laundry tablets from small smol we've had them for about three years now and quite recently we signed up with naked sprout for our toilet roll mm -hmm. so that's two things i don't have to get from supermarkets i'll put the links to both of them down there they're not affiliate links we're not trying to make any money from you we're just trying to share good information yeah. with you is that it love i believe so we've got to get home have something to eat get this edited and we're live tonight <laughs> love you mister love you mm. love you guys uh thank you so much for watching and for always supporting the channel we really appreciate it we'll see you again very soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other bye loves oh now for a ham butty and a break smoked or non-smoked that is the question i think non-smoked